Hi, welcome to our mat. Today I'm doing a series of videos on estimation. Okay, you measure your room and find out that it's 9 feet 10 inches by 12 feet 3 inches. The walls are 8 feet high. You are planning to paint the walls in your room and you know that each can of paint covers about 375 square feet of wall. If you are planning on painting two coats of paint, how many gallons of paint should you buy? So there's a lot going on. First thing I would do is I would take the nine feet, 10 inches and just make that 10 feet. And I would take the 12 feet, three inches and I would probably just make that 12 feet so that I have a room that's 10 feet by 12 feet, Ooh, feet, not inches. And then, you know, we have eight feet high because we have to make it 3D. So each wall, we have two walls that are 12 feet by eight feet. And we have two walls that are 10 feet by eight feet that we need to paint. So 12 by eight, if I have to multiply those. So I'm starting to look at this. 12 plus 12, is 24 and it's a little bit short right I'd rather buy too much paint than not enough paint so this is how we estimate how do we make this simple if I made this 12 and a half feet instead of 12 well 12 and a half plus 12 and a half is 25 25 for the two walls times 8 is 200 square feet 10 is easy 10 plus 10 is 20, and 20 times 8 is 160. And if we add those together, we have 360 square feet. So what I did was I took the 12.3, made it 12 and a half, 12 and a half, each of the two, 12 and a half plus 12 and a half is 25, 25 times 8 is 200. 10 plus 10 is 20 times 8 is 160. I added those together. It's 360 square feet. So it looks like one paint can should cover all of my walls, but I want to do two coats. So I should get two cans of paint. So in there, you saw how estimation happens and how you can alter your estimation to work for you. I started by just estimating up and estimating down, but then I realized my estimation would be a little bit easier if I went to a 0.5. So that's what, this is how you estimate. You start one place, you go, oh, it would be a little bit more accurate and a little bit easier. And you adjust and you make the numbers work for you for easeability. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.